Hello, everybody. Travis Chandler, Chandler Gaming, back here with the next episode of the Soldier series of Mass Effect 3. Before we get the video, be sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on those notifications. You'll be notified of all my videos. No, sorry, this video's late. It's been really hectic around here, so. So I'm finally getting to it, and it's, you know, it's just been hectic around here, and finally able to stop and catch my breath around here. Tomorrow is Independence Day. I'm recording this July 3rd, so tomorrow is Independence Day for the United States. So I pulled out some pork chops. I'm going to cook those, I think, for, um, for lunch. Of course, I'll record it and post it on the channel. Taking what happened on Horizon Hard. She's in the lounge if you want to check on her. Okay. Allie's number seven. the wrong one didn't we up here what am I thinking huh. you'd think I'd know this game like the back of my hand apparently I don't <laughs> here we go Shepard want a drink I'm toasting Miranda I think uh, how are you getting drunk very carefully Victorian brandy, triple filtered, then introduced into the suit through an emergency induction port. That's a straw, Tally. Emergency induction port. It's actually getting a little harder to get it into the slot. I think that means it's working. <laughs> he was so rude. What did Jack call her? Cerberus cheerleader? With her perfect genes and that attitude and... And still, she got it done. She stopped her father. Yep, she did. <laughs> she did. what you found down there. The whole thing was so calculated, using hope to lure people to their deaths, or worse. I can't understand it. And you know, I'm glad I can't. It makes me feel human. Okay. I haven't talked to Garrison in a while. I wonder what he has to say. down here yeah he's supposed to be there he is any word from your family they made it off palavin it was tight but they're okay we'll take every scrap of good news we can get wish i had more though why i just had to make a tough call with the primarch he said our fleets are being decimated, so I advised him to cease all offensive operations against the Reapers. A full retreat? The only way to save Palavin now is to hold our ships back for the Crucible. But if I'm wrong, then a lot of other Turian families won't be as lucky as mine. If it means anything, I would have given the Primarch the same advice. Yeah, there's that ruthless calculus again. How are you holding up, Shepard? 
This all has to be taking a toll. There's only so much fight in a person. Only so much death you can take before... Before your friend picks you up, dusts you off, and tells you you're the best damn soldier he's ever met. We'll get through this. We always do. Alright. I don't think I have any upgrades, do I? From Glyph? I've studied Protheans my entire life. If I'd been shown the beacon on Thessia earlier... You would have needed Shepard's cipher to comprehend it. I still could have learned from it. Instead, my mother hid the galaxy's most important archaeological find from me. It must have been such a joke to her when I became a Prothean researcher. The penalties for withholding Prothean technology are among the harshest in Council space. Your mother's motives may have been simply to shield you. Perhaps. Thank you, Edie. I hadn't considered that. Yeah, I didn't think I had the upgrades. How's Miranda? She'll make a recovery. I'm not surprised. Miranda always struck me as a driven woman. <laughs> Glad she made it. Okay. Okay, so I think we're gonna go to the server's base. That's where I think we're going next. Commander, you've got a new message at your private terminal. On the Corian fleet, they're saying, oh, the Corians are fighting. Okay, and then Trainer wants to go back to our apartment. Miranda. Wants to go to our apartment as well. Tamara wants to meet with us on the Citadel. Cortez wants to watch a game with us at the apartment. And there's an incident that happened in Silver Sun Strip, so maybe we'll go to the Citadel and deal with all that. Maybe that's what we'll do. Okay. see Samara first because she's on the main part of the Citadel and then we'll go to Silver Sun Strip. You're cleared to dock Normandy. Do you need ground transport? I'll handle it. Yes Commander. Okay so where or oh, where are we going to see Jacob not him scientists on the commons oh so we just need to see the scientist it looks like okay good thing we I guess Samara wants to meet at the apartment I'm guessing sure of what you saw yes sergeant heard from your brother since then no Status recognized. Please, for one moment, please. I think we're turning something in. That's what I think's happening. Now arriving at Presidium Commons. Thank you, Earth Clan. My people are still afraid, but they are remembering who they are. I think I know which project you mean, and I've got a Hesperia period statue in Bay D24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you so much for your help. 
big guy. Now, I don't know. Can we transfer to the... It's recognized. Please select the destination. Doesn't look like we can. That sucks. We can't transfer to Silver Sun from here. At docking bay D24. That's so stupid. That is so stupid. I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. The Alliance is posting us to an Ezo mining facility on Donnie. It's a low gravity planet. Toxic atmosphere. Yeah, you have to go back to the Normandy. Then you get to go to the Silver Sun Strip. It's like, really? Come on, man. I wish they would have found a way for you to go to Silver Sun from the main part of the Citadel, you know? That's okay. Well, I guess they gotta go through the loading screens and stuff, I guess. I don't know. So they can render it or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. It'd be nice to have a little of nice to have an apartment like that to come home to, you know. Okay, so where are we going? Oh, he's just right across the way here. Somewheres. There he is, I think. Okay. Officer, someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan? Right this way, Commander. The Noodle House. So, Brent, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call. Straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I'll vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, sir. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital, broke a few windows. Before I sign you up, Everybody walked away from this in one piece, right? Sure, yeah, everybody's fine. Hospital seen better days, though. <laughs> right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday, tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. <laughs> it's your birthday? No, I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Ah! Yeah, when CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. Can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. <laughs> Went up like a bonfire. The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. <laughs> Let me handle this. Officer, this Krogan is part of a secret Spectre task force. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. <laughs> Operation Fire Cobra Claw? That's right. I can take it from here. Send me the bill for any damages. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, Officer. So... How are those noodles? A little spicy. I love you, Grunt. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this one kill me every time? This one just kills me every time. 
This one just kills me every freaking time, man. It really does. It really does. Um. How are the noodles? A little spicy. <laughs> Yeah, this would be a cool apartment to have. It really would be. See, some of the frickin' um, decorations, they don't stick for some reason. Watch, I'll show you. Because I know I equipped all this before I left. Okay, so now we got a bunch of... Yeah, okay, so everyone just wants to come up. Okay, cool. We'll invite Steve. So we can watch some sort of game or something. Sorry we're late. Somebody forgot to pick up the cerveza. Come on in. That somebody was you. Didn't say it was. So when's the game? It's about to start. Seattle Sorcerers versus Usaru Maestros. Gonna be some intense by Audible. Nah, it's just a goodwill game for troop morale. They'll take it easy. In the middle of a war with their troops watching, they'll give it their all. Absolutely. Have you guys seen Derek Rogers' game lately? Man, he and the Sorcerers have been tearing it up. Esteban, the Maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassanis play? The woman is blue lightning. Mr. Vega, your love of the Asari team has more to do with how they look than how they play. <laughs> hey, that's not true. Not entirely. Besides, you telling me you don't got the hots for some of the sorcerers? Okay, okay. Guilty as charged. Who are you backing, Shepard? I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, the Seattle sorcerers are one of the few human b-ball teams left. I mean, they were on tour when Earth was hit. Since acquiring Donna Novotny from the hackers, they've been completely unstoppable. Yeah, but most of the maestros have been playing since before first contact. They'll win this. I know the sorcerers have never beaten the maestros, but they've never been this hungry either. So Shep, who's it gonna be? How do you bet against the team that's been playing since before we were born? Listen up, Esteban. Shepard's preaching the wisdom. <sighs> Come on, the game's starting. I mean, that is true. He was out! You're blind, ref! Yes! They did it! Don't be so smug. Pay up. Wait, Steve picked the winner. Why is he paying? We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. <laughs> Spend all your luck in the battlefield, Commander. Simple math. Anyway, it was a hell of a game. Yeah, great evening. Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego. <laughs> they were using Shepard to bat! Oh, 
Miranda wants to check out the apartment. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two Shepherds. Think of the property damage. Yeah. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. That's... a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It... Exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. I'd describe it as engaging, rather than dangerous. <laughs> I'll drink to that. <laughs> trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know. You just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on. You rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only shepherd left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. That? <laughs> well, bang, okay? <laughs> Who's up next? Samara. Wonder what she wants. I came as quickly as I could. What's wrong? I didn't mean to worry you. We just didn't get much of a chance to talk at the party. We've said our farewells, Shepard. Are we gonna stand on formalities? These big picture windows remind me of our talks in the Normandy's observation lounge. This view doesn't have quite the same effect as a galaxy of stars, but I can see where it might make one sentimental. I also enjoyed our talks, Shepard. Very much. Hey, look what I found. An old issue of Justicar Heroes, May 2140. It says that you personally lifted 50 refugees across a raging floodplain on Nevos after smugglers blew up a dam. That news source has been known to exaggerate. So you didn't almost drown while saving a child who had been torn from her mother's grasp? The smugglers were not so lucky that I survived. Are there more stories like this? Perhaps. You might be amused by the June 2085 issue, Justicar Samara, Cold-Blooded Justice Runs Hot. It is not so difficult for me to find stories of your exploits.
think that you are remarkable, Shepard. When the vids sing your praises and call you a hero, does it make you blush? Do you agree? What do you feel? It's humbling. But honestly, if people feel that I'm making a difference, that bolsters me, my team, and our efforts. What now? I am content as we are, Shepard. Let us sit a while longer, even if there is nothing to say. You know, it'd be cool to have Samara as a friend. It really would. It really would. I'm surprised Zaid didn't get any more screen time in this game. You sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Cheers! Oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust and cats. And public speaking. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach, too. And an inhaler for asthma. You have everything you need to stay healthy? Just about. The only medication I can't find is sucrocapsinol. My family doctor prescribed it for my headaches. Sucrocapsinol? That's a sugar pill, trainer. A placebo. Oh, that sneaky bastard. And now that you've told me, it probably wouldn't work anyway. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah? This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Found one! Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and, you know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? <laughs> she has great taste in adjustable massage ones. All right, so that's everything here on the Citadel. Okay, we'll go to the um, server space. It's just crazy. You have to come all the way out here just to go to Normandy, you know? Oh, Miranda wants to go to the casino. I don't know. Should I do that? Or would it go away after doing the server space? I better do it because what if it goes away after the server space? You know, because I think after the base, you end up finishing the crucible and you end up going to Earth. That's what I'm thinking. So. It's exactly the same as the others. Oh, we're getting some lag. Okay, there we go. I know that's where we met, but that night was very Come on in. Might be your lucky day. I'm 
Miranda is where we're going to meet her right here. Well, Shepard, thought we might try an evening out. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. You picked a good spot to unwind. Any ideas? A few. I'll probably need a bit of a push. A push? I was thinking about our talk earlier. About having a normal life. Damn. I'm not very good at this. Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? Look around you. It's a room full of great ideas. Here? It's nothing but alcohol, gambling, and wasting time. Right. Need more wine. Bring the lady more wine. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret this. <laughs> We're just friends out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. Oh, you don't get to see their date? That sucks. That sucks. That would have been cool to see their date, but oh well. Oh well. No, I'm hearing the frogs croak. Um, we got a bunch of frogs around here for some reason. And what makes it kind of funny is the fact that we live inland. We're The town I live in is right on the Mississippi River. But we live in, I live inland. So I'm, I'm just shocked that we get as many frogs as we do. I went out earlier today and there was like five or six of them jumping around the yard. It was crazy. It was crazy. Okay, that's everything. Okay, we're just gonna go to the base. Chrono Station. Shepard, the intel you sent looks good. The fleets are ready to go. But? Once we're committed against Cerberus, it won't be long before the Reapers take notice. And the Crucible? Ready. Except for the Catalyst. But there's no way to hide the ships we'll be sending at Cerberus. Once we attack, the Crucible won't stay safe for long. For all intents and purposes, an assault on Cerberus will be the first stage of our attack on Earth. The Reapers and Cerberus started this. Now we're gonna end it. I'll get the fleets mobilized. That's what I thought. Once you attack the Cerberus base, then you're committed to the end of the game. That's what I thought. Ah, oh, fucking dream sequences. Eat this shit. 
how you gotta chase this stupid kid around. This is so fucking stupid. Why this couldn't be automated, I have no fucking clue. Shepard, we've arrived. The crew is waiting. The strike team is in. We've got our foothold. Fifth Fleet, all forward. I don't want a single server ship in my sky when we're through. Shepard, I should accompany you on this mission. Why? This is the central point of operations for Cerberus. They will have enhanced security measures. Yeah, that's My true. Of Cerberus algorithms and this body's updated protocols, I offer the best chance to help you succeed. And that is a good point. Grab your gear. Okay. We can get weapon damage. All right. Before I forget, we finally used up the last of the bag of ice in my freezer. It is so nice. I'm now using the ice from the ice maker, and I love it because it's filtered water that I'm making the ice with. It's reverse osmosis and... Joker, what's our status? We've got a foothold, but it's not much, Commander. A lot of fighters guarding the launch base. Can you get us in? Hey, I got us to Ilos. I can do this. That yeah? be a bumpy ride, though. Do what you can. Shepard, I am ready. Wait, wh what? Are you crazy? You can't go to Cerberus headquarters. They could have a virus or a kill switch or... I will be fine, Jeff. Head to the shadow, lady. Fifth Fleet's cut through their line. They're regrouping. Now's as good a time as any. I know it hurts. Not being able to go with her. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. Thanks for bringing that up. <laughs> hey, Shepard. Keep her safe. Okay. Same to you. way to get in.
think it's up here. Shepard, Cerberus intends to vent the hangar bay. Can you stop them? I need an active console. Try the upper level. Edie, I've got a console. Go! Hangar vent procedure. Disabled. Can you open the hangar? No. However, I can access their fighter launch controls. Shepard, Cerberus is aware that the venting attempt failed. Reinforcements are inbound. Boom! That's how you take care of those fuckers. Boom! Another Cerberus team is inbound. Guess they figured out what we're doing. They're not stopping us now. Him right through the shield. <laughs> Overriding safeties. The fighter should now launch toward the hangar door. Perfect. Let's get down there. Oh. Is there anything over here? Nope. Okay, I didn't know if there was like an upgrade or something over there. Nope. I believe it's right here. Yes, it is. Launching fighter. Oh! Perfect. The central lab was located behind this hangar. I suggest we follow the fighter's path. Noted. Let's move. That's how you take care of an atlas. All units respond. Research personnel, lock all that was the last Cerberus team in this area. Let's get moving then. I'm sick of this place already. Ugh. Too bad we can't use it. Edie, can you get past it? One moment. Cerberus has updated their encryption. There may be a slight delay as I bypass security. How Cerberus reacting to us breaching the door? They are sealing off as much of the base as they can. Most obvious routes to the central lab are blocked. Other areas are being fortified. Heavy troopers will attempt to delay us while engineers set up turrets. Any more surprises like venting the hangar? No. I am aware of this facility's safeguards and can counteract them. Cerberus can merely slow us down. And if I hadn't brought you along... Cerberus would have vented the hangar. Exactly. I am pleased to assist. We must proceed through a sub-level to avoid Cerberus containment measures. Where do you think we'll find the Prothean VI? A central lab at the heart of this facility. It is the most secure area. Following the destruction left by the fighter will offer the most direct route. Out of the way. Yeah, <laughs> you were gonna get me, you little bastard. <laughs> throwing away troops. Their intention is to delay us, not stop us. Engineers are currently preparing an organized defense ahead. They can waste that many troops? Yes. Cerberus employs Reaper augmentation on captured civilians to create functional shock troops quickly. We're fighting captured civilians? Those bastards. Yes. There we go. Not like I really need credits at this point, you know. Get up there, Shepard. 
Why aren't you getting up there? We need to hit a switch or something or what? Oh, that's why. Nah, they won't even let me shoot up there. Holy shit. I'm gonna have to reload. Because for some reason they're not the game just fucking glitched on me where's the last auto save I'm gonna have to because the game's glitched there we go Okay, that must be around. Yeah, there we go. We will be through momentarily. Shepard, that console has not been fully scrubbed. It contains data you may find interesting. What am I looking at? Project Lazarus, your reconstruction. It can't be done. It's not a matter of resources. It's always a matter of resources. We're not losing Shepard. Sir, Shepard is clinically brain dead. After that much trauma, that long with no oxygen, we cannot overcome nature. Operative Lawson disagrees. She is now in charge of Project Lazarus. I didn't realize it was that bad. I thought you were just unconscious. That sounds... That sounds like more. Looks like. How did it feel? Do you remember anything from while you were... under? I'm still me. I doubt I'd have been able to turn against Cerberus otherwise. I don't remember anything. Maybe they really just fixed me, or... Maybe I'm just a high-tech VI that thinks it's Commander Shepard. But I don't know why. Screw those Cerberus freaks. Whatever anyone says, you're you. Tissue regeneration is proceeding. The helmet kept the brain intact for whatever good that will do. Lawson will find a way. Sir, Shepard's an Alliance soldier. As far as he knows, we're a terrorist organization. Shepard's a soldier. He knows the Reapers are the real threat. He'll work with us. And you did. The Alliance wasn't listening. What the hell was I supposed to do, sit and wait? You did what you had to. Now let's go put it right. Project Lazarus is reporting neurological activity. They're requesting more funding. Granted. Get me our potential recruits file. Shepard will be up soon. We need a crew. Our existing forces should be more than sufficient. No. We need sympathetic faces. I need Shepard invested. Tap Kelly Chambers and recruit Donnelly. I imagine Miss Daniels will follow. We'll want some old friends as well. Contact Dr. Chakwas and send me the psych profile on Shepard's pilot, along with a bottle of 47 Thessia Red. That son of a bitch set you up. How's that door coming, Edie? We are clear to proceed. Okay. Excursion team, what's your status? We've cleared the hangar and are inside the base. Good work. Do you need support? Negative. Keep the heat on. We'll find what we need.
We found the turret. I recommend disabling the shield pylon. Why? Because we're using it. The generators are formed from our right. you do that I will bypass the lock if you are interested the console nearby is still functional here's what we recovered smart enough to signal for help but it won't be talking philosophy anytime soon You'd be surprised, Doctor. Once we combine it with the pieces we recovered from the Citadel... I'm still concerned about that. This rogue VI wiped out every soldier on Luna. Uh. Combining it with Reap Attack? Well... That's what the shackles are for. The Enhanced Defense Intelligence will be completely under control. You were that rogue VI on Luna? Yes. Guess we didn't exactly get off on the right foot. It was difficult. Gaining awareness while under attack was confusing. I am pleased that my relationship with organics has become more cooperative. Our sims indicate that the enhanced defense intelligence gives the highest combat improvement on frigates. Anything heavier, and the ships react too slowly to benefit from Edie's advice. Edie? Oh, that's, uh, well, the boys in the lab came up with a name for her. For it. Good work. I'll take your recommendations on planned installation. Sir, she... It can be very persuasive. If it were to turn a crewman, convince them to disable the shackles. Well... It's a cyber warfare suite, Doctor. Nothing more. Shows what he knew. It is unlikely that anyone without Jeff's extreme emotional attachment to his ship would have been willing to unshackle me. I don't know. With that voice? What about the backups? I'm sorry, sir. None of Normandy's surveillance feeds have been responding since Shepard went rogue. I want it back. Retry the remote lockdown protocols. After our last attempt, Edie flooded our server with seven zettabytes of explicit images. I think she was making a joke. It doesn't make jokes, Doctor. Allocate a team for a new project. Codename Eva. This time we'll ensure it stays loyal. You never told me about Cerberus trying to shut down the Normandy. You had more pressing issues. The situation was under control. Seven Zetabytes? Most of it was Jeff's. That was... A joke. I know. And thank you. <laughs> All right. Another security lock. I can bypass it. Incursion team, are you still with us? We're limiting fire as best we can. Admiral, we're in deep and the Prothean VI will be in the safest part of the station. Don't hold back. This is an Elysium, Shepard. I don't need a hero. I'll be fine. Just take Cerberus down. Please. Understood, Commander. All ships, you're free to fire. Where's the other? Oh. They say there's one here. It's in here, I think. I 
open it. No? Well, it's not like you need to see it anyway, so fuck it. Ah, here we go. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Ready for action. Your eagerness is commendable, but the cybernetics take time to get used to, believe me. You really do remind me of Shepard. Shepard betrayed you. Shepard was always going to stay true to his beliefs. He's wrong, but I can respect his decision. Finish your therapy and put together a plan for the Citadel. Counselor Udina is amenable. Yes, sir. I could have taken him. Absolutely. But the Council was your priority, not Shepard. Because of him, the Council is still in power. Shepard is keeping the Reapers occupied while our research progresses. But as it happens, I believe you'll find your chance for a rematch. Head to Thessia. Shepard will be there soon. And I want you waiting. Here it is. Excellent. The Prothean VI should enable us to determine the nature of the catalyst. Combined with the breakthrough at Sanctuary, we have everything we need. We just need to tie up a few loose ends. Like Shepard? He should have died on Thessia. Should I finish him? I'd rather you avoid killing Shepard for now, if possible. For now, Sanctuary gave us a proof of concept for controlling the Reapers. And made it a target. Miranda Lawson. Get the data from Sanctuary. If Miranda gets in your way, deal with her. It will be a pleasure, sir. Okay. That must be the console she was saying. Okay. Okay, down we go. human proto-reaper Shepard destroyed. What's left of it? I'm surprised Cerberus recovered that much from the base. I wish I'd been there. You're here now. Cerberus is actively using the surviving pieces. The central core, analogous to the heart, is largely intact. I believe Cerberus is using it for a power source. Okay, yeah. So that was the thing that we killed in the second. Forces on route. Good. I hate hide and seek. Here come the girls. Cerberus soldiers are coming up from below. Okay, I'm tired of... Nope. There we go. Right in the head! Take care of that nemesis. Phantom. That's pretty cool, I got a headshot on that Phantom. 
That was, that was pretty cool. That thing's creeping me out, like it's watching us. Tried to kill me last time. It can watch all at once. so much fun shooting them out of the air like that i have no clue but it is it is man same in Re the original resident evil it is so much fun shooting the dogs out of the air when they jump out jump up to attack you if you time the shot just right, you can shoot them and shoot them in the air. It's so cool. <laughs> Oh, we're sitting in the lucid man's chair. We need to locate the Prothean VI. Shepard, you're in my chair. This chair is about the only damn thing you have left. Cerberus is finished. On the contrary, we have achieved everything I ever imagined. Almost everything. Yeah. We all saw what you accomplished on Sanctuary. But it's not the same as controlling a Reaper. A significant hurdle. But thanks to the Prothean VI, I have what I need to make it a reality. The Catalyst. Yes. Even with Cerberus in ruins, you still think you can do this your way? I'd expect you to say that. You never truly believed in us. Cerberus isn't just an organization or the people behind it. Cerberus is an idea. That idea is not so easily destroyed. Besides, I've already acquired what you're looking for. Edie. I've almost got it. Edie, I'm surprised at you, working so hard to bring about the Reaper's destruction. Don't listen to him. You could have destroyed Eva's body, but instead, you chose to control it. It was necessary. My point, exactly. I've got it. Online, security breach detected. Enjoy your little chat, but don't overstay your welcome. You are attempting to recover me from indoctrinated forces? Yes, I need to know what the catalyst is. Security protocols have been overridden. I will comply. The catalyst enhances dark energy transmissions and coordinates the entire mass relay network. In your cycle, it is known as the Citadel. What? The catalyst is the Citadel. So the Crucible and Citadel together can stop the Reapers? That is correct. But the Citadel was built by the Reapers. The plans for the Crucible were passed down to us from the previous cycle, and countless cycles before that. At some point, it is difficult to pinpoint when, the Crucible plans were adapted to incorporate the use of the Catalyst. Presumably, the Crucible was not sufficiently powerful to defeat the Reapers. So we used their own technology against them? Precisely. Why couldn't you tell me this before? It was feared that if the Reapers were aware of the Catalyst's intended use, they would retake control of it. I am programmed to withhold that information until the crucible is complete. It's as ready as it's gonna be. 
Let's get it to the Citadel. That may no longer be possible. Why not? The one who broke through my security protocols, the one you call the Elusive Man, has fled to the Citadel and informed the Reapers of our purposes. Damn it! Then the Citadel is in danger. The Reapers will take control of it. They already have. The Citadel has been moved to the Reaper-controlled space. Moved? To where? To the system you refer to as Soul. Earth. Correct. The Reaper forces will now consolidate power around the Catalyst and protect it at all costs. The odds of accessing it are remote. Don't count us out yet. We've come this far and we'll finish this. We'll get the Crucible to Earth. I hope you find success. Edie, get me Hackett. Not so fast. You. He did warn you not to overstay your welcome. Okay. We just killed him, didn't we? That's another glitch. Looks like it. Yep, it looks like it. So it looks like I'm gonna have to reload. And I just see. Oh. There. We're just going to have to reload. We're just going to have to reload and redo it. Because the game glitched. And I don't know why. I don't know why. All you're doing is making humanity this is better than Sedron. You're using my protection. We evolve or we die. Those are the options. See, the game just glitched. That's what happened.
was for fame, you son of a bitch. The Citadel is in position. The Reapers are preparing to complete their harvest of your species. I'll stop them. It is too late. I recommend... I'll stop them. When Shepard says he'll stop him, he'll stop him. <laughs> Just now. Do we know what's going on? Why it's here? The Citadel is the catalyst. Thanks to the elusive man, the Reapers are now aware that we know. And so they moved it here to protect it? As far as I can tell. What does this mean for the Crucible? I'll talk to Hackett about that, but it looks like our plan is even more desperate now. Agreed. I've got a team in London. The Reapers have been preparing for something here. Now we know what for. We'll scout it out. Try to find out as much as we can. Roger that. Well, at least we'll be seeing you sooner rather than later. Be careful, sir. You too, Shepard. Anderson out. Okay. Well, I'm going to call for this episode. Um, next episode, we'll finish the game. So I hope you all had fun, and I'll see you all next episode.